Well, good morning from beautiful Ketchikan, Alaska. I'm up bright and early here to head down to the waterfront to take part in the Bering Sea Crab Fisherman's Tour, which is really popular here. Uh, the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau has been kind enough to arrange tickets for me, so I'm gonna head down there. Beautiful morning here, bustling already as well. And it looks like some cruise ship passengers are already out sightseeing, even though it's only about 7.30 in the morning. Right, that's Creek Street once again. Beautiful historic architecture, the old red light district. You can see fall color is starting to emerge here as well. This is September 4th, Labor Day. And uh, it's definitely a little bit more yellow here than it is in the lower 48 or in Canada. And I'm heading down towards the waterfront right there in the distance. And there's the little trolley, it looks like. So I'm off to find some coffee. All right, I ordered myself a cappuccino here at the Local Grounds Cafe, which is right here in the heart of downtown Ketchikan. It's decent. So this tour is roughly three hours long, I believe. And it's actually one of the same fishing vessels that they use on the deadliest catch. All right, I've arrived at the boat. So again, this is one of the same type of boats they use on the deadliest catch, evidently. So very cool. Looking forward to this tour and uh, Nice, Aleutian Ballad is the name of the boat. Let's head on. All right, I'm Captain David of the Aleutian Ballad, uh, Bering Sea King Crab boat that was seen on the Deadliest Catch season two. And uh, if you're coming to Alaska, if you're thinking about coming to Alaska, I can guarantee you that Alaska has a lot to offer. Matter of fact, more people that come by cruise ship, they will come back to Alaska than any other destination in the world. So what we do on our excursion, is we give you an authentic, real excursion. We take you out in the flat, calm, protected waters of Ketchikan. We'll catch wildlife in the water. We'll haul it on board. We'll hand it to you. We're going to show you things above the water that might blow your mind. So please, thinking about Alaska, you will not be disappointed. Welcome to Alaska. So we are heading out towards the inside passage, or I guess deeper up the inside passage. You mentioned that they're heading to a protected area little island. Absolutely stunning views here of the, I guess, the coastal ranges that extend through British Columbia and southeastern Alaska here. Prince Rupert, British Columbia, which is a major city in Canada, or major town at least, is about 100 kilometers south of here, along with the Queen Charlotte Islands, or Haida Gwaii, which is also about the same distance away. So very south here. Uh, this would all be part of British Columbia were it not for the earlier treaties that uh, gave all this part of coastal Pacific North America to Alaska, pretty much half of what would it otherwise be the British Columbia coastline. So pretty interesting and a very misty, rainy day this morning, but uh, absolutely serene, amazing views as we pull out of Ketchikan Harbor. So thank you so much to the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau for sponsoring this video and my stay here in Ketchikan. If you have any questions about travel to Ketchikan, please check out their website and their social media. So thanks again to the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau for making this all possible. The ship also has a pretty well-equipped gift shop and galley here for snacks, coffee, etc. I guess they even sell king crab here of all things, so pretty interesting. And it's not cheap. So this is some actual footage of this boat, the Aleutian Ballad, in the waters of the Bering Sea back in the day. So it's been a retired from service, of course. It does tours now, but you can see they play the footage on it from the Discovery Channel pretty much throughout the trip. You guys ready to go fishing? Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Thank you. 
amazing little creature. There was a market for these things in Europe a few years ago for fish and chips. They were eating these off the East Coast, sending them over to Europe. And you can see this guy is dark green on the top, used to be a nice even shade, completely white on the bottom. He swims around like this. You're looking down, he looks like the bottom of the ocean. You're looking up, he looks like the sky. Really good camel. So we are headed to track down some prawns, he says. And you can see the waters are just so tranquil here. It's really beautiful. And it hasn't rained yet much, at least. It's spit a little bit, but the weather is holding. And honestly, this is such a nice time of year to come. So if you find yourself having some free time in September, Alaska is definitely worth visiting this time of year. All right, I think I see it coming up. There we go. Okay, it is not that full, actually. <laughs> That's all right, we got more pots in the water. Yeah, that's something. Oh, well, we snailed them there. Prawn, where are you? I think well, we're in the most wrong Most of these are spot. empty, unfortunately. Well, we got a cool looking sea star there. No. This is a sun star. Uh, they're actually, they're endangered right now. We can't even keep it on the boat very long. There was a time not too long ago when you couldn't pull any gear without getting sun stars wrapped around. And something happened and they're making a comeback right now. So this here is a sea snail and it's kind of hairy to touch. Kind of gross, but uh, she was saying that they do actually eat these. So kind of like an escargot of the sea, I suppose. Really interesting. And this little guy here is a hermit crab and he's hiding in there. All right, we are heading to another set of buoys here. Just amazing views. So they're getting ready to set these prawn pots back down. All right, stamp Starting guys. the line out stamp and- uh, Right here, I'm on top of a ridge. So where we're at right now, it's 180 feet deep. As I turn off shore into the canyon, we're gonna begin setting this pot in about 300 feet deep, right down to about 400 feet. Let them go, so guys. 300 oh, feet no. deep water is pretty incredible. And they just pace it out every so much here till the next one's ready to fall in and uh, wash, rinse, repeat until they're all in. Deep. 400 feet deep. About 440. I got it. Good set. All right, we are winching up another pot. We'll see what this one holds. Looks like there's some crab in this one. All right, I have, that's as much as I can do with this block. It's stationary. So I have to give him what's called the picket hook. Now we're going to take the weight off the block, and then I take the line out of the block, and then I just finish the whole deal with the picket hook. All right, quite a bit. There it is, folks. That is a cone pot or a dome pot. If I was normally commercially fishing, I'd have left that hook in this bridle, kept that pot suspended up in air. A sorting table would come in. I would right, swing it over the top of the up. table, release this pucker strap. The entire bottom of that pot would open up. Now, this is the Box B-O-X King Crab. Big D's got a couple right there. He's gonna show you how to hold them. Then we're gonna drop the chains and let you come over and hold them. All right, like you said, these Very are box cool. crab and they taste just like king crab. They're pretty closely related. Um, I think they're the coolest crabs we catch. All right, so these and are box crabs. Up, they look like a rock and they open up. Optimus Prime. That is the box crab and really cool. Definitely enjoying this tour. So as you can see, it's pretty interactive and fun. And honestly, this is so cool. You gonna try to get my microphone? I hope not. I hope not. Boy, you are scary, but cute. Ready, Paul? I'm ready. All right, All right. we're throwing the pot overboard. Pretty good day, or... There we go.
Oh, we're on that bump, son. Ah, good save, Paul. All right, just like that, you did grab fish. So you can see some of the crabs in the tank here in the front. Some prawns as well. All right, king crab coming out. Huge. An Alaskan king Woo! crab. One of three different species of king crab up here in Alaska. All right, we are winching another one in here. All right, so they use this line to basically go vertical on it and then uh, pull it right on top of the little platform. And here it comes right now. Oh. <laughs> And they're all fake. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're huge. Hey, I told you it wasn't empty. You ready, Paul? I'm ready. Go on over. Whoa, octopus. Wow, cool. That is the giant Pacific octopus. Wow. No slime meals in there today. I know he's not much of a giant, but that is the species of octopus that is. And these things are everywhere in here. So he was saying that they were busy cooking up something for a seafood snack for all of us. And then uh, they distributed these. So they definitely have a sense of humor on this thing. So pretty funny. All right, we are heading back to Ketchikan. You can see it there in the distance, the cruise ship docked in port. Definitely a really nice experience out on the water today and well timed. It just avoided the rain by, you know, minutes. So pretty good experience weather wise as well. Absolutely incredible how the weather changes on a dime here. And you can see downtown Ketchikan right there. Beautiful misty clouds on top of the mountains today. So pretty incredible. There's so many boats that have since docked even since we've left this morning. Uh, there's the one that was there earlier, but now there is a Holland America line and a Princess cruise ship that uh, have since docked. So, busy day here on the coast of Alaska. And again, it's a very well done tour. They're very engaging. A lot of personal stories about their lives as crab fishermen. So, really cool. Highly recommended. Much better than I anticipated, actually. So, very cool. And there again is Front Street, Ketchikan. And we're pulling back in now to berth number three here in Ketchikan Harbor. So again, Ketchikan is located at the very far south end of the Alaska Panhandle, so further south place that you can visit here in Alaska. It's all north from here, all the way up to Anchorage and the rest of the state, all the way reaching up to Barrow, Alaska. This is the largest state in the United States, so you can see why it's just a massive area. So really cool experience. Again, it was nice to meet Captain Dave there and uh, just hear his passion about sharing his history as a crab fisherman. Highly recommended. And again, special thanks to the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau for making that all happen. If you're looking for tickets, I believe the tour is around 250, 200, 250, somewhere in there, USD. So definitely add that tour to the top of your itinerary here in Ketchikan, because you will not be disappointed. Very cool experience.